What's up guys, welcome back to Diddy Reviews. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for joining me. Um, today I'm doing something a bit different. This is a project I've had in the works for, it's probably the best part of two years now, um, because I, I started doing it, design, designing it. And it's a 3D printed case, by the way. Um, so I know a lot of people have done this, but I've done it a sort of different way, um, quite a unique way, I believe. And hopefully you'll like it. Um, but this is sort of a progress video, this is going to be part one, and then hopefully my next video will be it completed and everything installed and ready to go. Um, but I just wanted to get this out there to show you what I'm working on. Uh, so like I say, 3D printed PC case, going to be mini ITX form factor um, and SFX power supply, things like that. Um, I'm going to put a very modest system in it just because I'm testing out the way this works. Um, so. Like I said, I've been working on this for a while, so I just want to give you, uh, show you, this is basically part of it. I'll show you it all in a minute of what I've designed. I um, want to give you a sort of idea of what I'm working on, and then obviously I'll talk about how where I'm going with it, and uh, we'll hopefully do that very soon in the future. So uh, let's bring you in closer, and I'll show you all the parts that I've made so far. Right, so as you can see, it's an absolute mess, but I'm just uh, trying to clear a bit of space here, and I'll show you what I've done so far, and you can um, be the judge of whether you think it's a good idea or not. Let me know, obviously, and uh, we'll go from there. So first of all, the bare bones of this case, uh, I've tried to make it sort of modular in a way that it could uh, put the have possibility to be, to be extended into a bigger case if you wanted to in the future. Um, and the way I've done this is, Basically, I've made these parts here. So these are sized for 120mm fans, spaced in there. And there'll be one either side, so you get 240 there, uh, one either side, and they'll clamp together, and basically the fans will hold them together. And then I've made these corner pieces here, um, which this is all out of PETG, by the way, uh, which basically I've got a dovetail joint at the end, which is slot together. They're not the tightest fit. Um, I'm trying to decide what to do with these, whether to just glue them together um, to make them fit in the end or hopefully whenever it's installed, it'll hold it together. Um, but I'm undecided on that just yet. Um, let me get it the right way around. So you'll have these pieces. Um, so you'll have two of these top and bottom and then two of these either side. Uh, and then basically that makes it into this kind of thing here. So you can see you've got one at the top, one at the bottom. The, the fans perform, uh, basically uh, perform. Uh, make up a, a structural part of the case so these hold it together and keep it rigid in a way um i've only got uh what have i done here some of these screws are a bit loose that's why it's a bit wobbly um but yeah these basically form a structural part of the case the fans so that was my main idea in the first place was to have less 3d printing to do because your fans are making a big chunk of the um a big chunk of the structural integrity in the case up um so then you get all that together and uh you get, I'll show you with this, just one of these for now. You get a corner piece. Slide that in there like that, so that makes your corner. Then you get another one of these. And you slide that together as well. Let me try and get that in frame, sorry. It does work, believe me. So you get that there. So now you've got two sides of your case done together. Like I say, they're not the tightest fit. I may reprint them, I'm not sure. Or I may just uh, glue them together to make them into a case. So then you get a full corner there. And then obviously you'll do the same with the other side. So you have three sides which have basically got um, the fans as the structural part of the, of the case. And then I've also printed this back piece out here, which is where the power supply, as you can see, is already installed with some M3 bolts, I believe, uh, M3, M3 screws. This is obviously where your motherboard AIO, uh, AIO, IO will go, and this is where your graphics card will sit. It's currently just designed for a, a sort of two-slot card. Um, I'm going to be using a 6500XT dual from Asus. Uh, and then basically, let me just put this back and put this on as well. So now you can see it's coming together. Let's move the camera out a little bit. You can see it's coming together nicely. Get all these cables out of the way. I am using a very cheap SFX power supply. Try and get all of this out of the way. This corner will go on here. One corner there. And then the final corner, I still need to print one more of these out to finish this off. 
and then that is basically how the case will be. So if you can see, stand it up to give you an idea. That is, that is the case there. Um, like I say, obviously everything's not joined together properly yet. Um, so that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment. I'm still trying to decide on how I want to do uh, the base. It's a little bit too big for my 3D printer to do it all in one. Um, I probably could do it, but I'd have to uh, make some changes to the 3D printer to get it to do this. And uh, yeah, I've not got around to how I want to do that just yet. So that's the case uh, as, a stand, uh, as it is at the moment. Obviously it is gonna be initially designed to lie down flat like that. So it's initially gonna be like designed to lie down flat, uh, sort of a HTPC sort of style case. Um, but I am, hope, I am thinking what I'm gonna do is make it so you can stand it up and I'll 3D print some um, feet that can go basically that will fit into fan holes down here to elevate off the floor and then you can have it stood up as well and I think that'll look really really nice once it's done. Uh, the other thing I'm not too sure about what I'm doing at the moment is for the top. Um, the way I've designed this at the moment I've not got any holes to fit anything to the top um, so I might just either reprint these with some holes in them and get a, a board that basically a, a top with like sort of a mesh, mesh grill on it um, and sort of screw it directly to the top and that will obviously give it even more rigidity. That might be probably the best way to do it. Um, it will have to be printed in pieces again because it's not it's too big to fit once on my uh, 3D printer. Um, but that's the, what I'm thinking at the moment. If you've got any ideas of uh, what you think would be a good idea for the top, then please let me know. Also, any ideas for what to do to the bottom? Um, again, at the moment, the way I'm thinking is going to be a th and the way I've designed it so far is to 3D print it in four pieces, four quadrants that were then this is why these here if you can see they've got these sort of notches in them here because the base is going to fit into them um and then obviously the motherboard will sit on top of there um so that's that's it at the moment and uh, let me try and just give you an idea uh flip that round try and get some of these cables out of the way again obviously it's quite hard to mess about with when you've got cables everywhere i'll get the motherboard uh, and graphics card and I'll sort of give you an idea as to how this will go in. So this will slot under the PSU. I uh, don't know if you can see that or not. Let me bring the camera in. That will slot under the PSU. As you can see, there's not a massive clearance for um, CPU coolers. That is an Intel stock cooler and it's almost touching. So in the future, that might be a design change I'll make, um, but it is gonna be made basically from very low, prof low profile coolers. And as you can see, then the graphics card is gonna slot into this hole here. Um, again, in terms of clamping the graphics card down, it's either drill holes and screw straight into the plastic, or I might make it part of the top, which basically has a block here that goes down. So when the, when the top's um, screwed down, it clamps the graphics card in and can't move anywhere. I think that's probably gonna be a better idea because I think that will hold it really sturdy and it won't need any uh, support or anything not that it would because it's only a small graphics card um but that's it guys really i just wanted to give you an, an idea of what i was doing um and get some suggestions from you really um if you had any ideas uh, of what you'd do with this case or what you'd do differently or things you think i've missed or anything like that please let me know in the comment section below uh and uh i'll uh, obviously have a look and see how feasible that's going to be for me to do um, but that's it guys thank you for watching um i hope uh, this was interesting and uh please if you like this idea don't forget to speak to me in the comments um and obviously don't forget to follow me uh, subscribe uh and like this video if you did like i say if you subscribe then obviously you'll be able to see the upcoming oh sorry about that you'll be able to see the upcoming videos and sort of the progress i make on this but this is just part one hopefully part two will be the finished product it might take a few more parts i'm not sure uh, but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys soon thank you Bye bye